everybody, it's Erica with Not Your Average UDC, and today we are going to do a whole bunch of updates and fun stuff. Um, right now, in New Hampshire, we are in the midst of a snowstorm, like a pretty bad one. The, the roads are just brutal out there. Um, I already had the day off, so I don't have to go to work, but um, I don't think I would be driving in this even if I had to. Sorry about the glitchy quality. I don't know why in the natural lighting it does this. But let's get into the fun stuff. So I have an update on how the Delica is going and a pocket dump to do. We'll do the Delica update first so you guys know that I am testing the Spider Code Delica in Crewware from DLT Trading. I'm testing the Delica as a model as well as Spider Co's Crewware. So this is doing absolutely fantastic. I mentioned I changed it to old school carry tip down. Um, I am enjoying this configuration. I am not enjoying the retention of the Spyderco pocket clip. It is very flimsy and I have been pushing it up out of my pocket just moving around on the farm and stuff. It's, um, it's not very good in terms of staying in your pocket. Haven't lost it yet though. So, the steel is very forgiving. This is interesting for crew wear. I have not had crew wear like this where I was able to put chunks in it and then get them back out as easily. So um, I've used other crew wares that were, you know, treated differently and stuff from other makers. And uh, they were tougher to work with than this. This was... Um, it kind of almost felt like an S45 VN when I was working with it. So the other day, I stabbed this knife through a, like, metal canister of oil on film. And it, it like, literally broke pieces of the edge out. Um, and fixing it was really easy. I used DMT stones. And um, hopefully you guys can see that there aren't any chips anymore. I did, like, take pictures of the chips and put them on my story on Instagram and kind of, like, recorded what it looked like. It was really bad. But they're they're completely out. It was so easy to fix the edge. Um, it came back razor sharp and super toothy. So that's exciting. Um, that's very exciting that you can damage this edge, uh, you know, if that happens on the job or whatever, and you can easily fix it. So I'm seriously enjoying this. It's lightweight. It's tough. Um, ergonomics are some of the best I've ever had. I mean, it just like literally melts into my hand, even with that pocket clip. Like you, you feel it, you're aware of it, but it's not necessarily uncomfortable. And then when you flip it to the back, if you're a normal person, uh, and you have it back here, you don't really feel it at all, especially if you get a dip, a deep carry. So, um, lots of, lots of good things to say about this knife, uh, in this model. I'm still not liking the lockback. It's, it's not... Um, enjoyable for me to to you know close it and stuff I feel like it's just safer with two hands which bugs me I really like to be able to do one hand opening and closing and I just can't quite I can't like figure out how to how to do that one-handed unless I like start closing it with my body which just makes me a little like nervous I don't know um, but yeah, basically all good things to say about this so far. Very, very tough knife, very good knife. And Spider Coast Crew Wear is um, incredibly resilient. Uh, let's go to the pocket dump, right? That's what we're all really excited about. Um, I'm wearing this hat today just because I have to go out and do a few things and the snow is like blowing so hard that um, it like gets in my eyes and in my glasses and I can't see. So this actually blocks the snow from getting in my face and in my eyes. So that's why I have the, the cool hat. Um, jacket, of course, got some muck boots on. But um, yeah, so we have our main carry, which is the Delica. And then because it's snowing and because it's cold, et cetera, et cetera, uh, gloves definitely have to be worn. Hello. Um, so I do have a fixed blade that I'm carrying as well the past few days because it's just easier with with gloves uh, to be breaking things down outside. So, um, the fixed blade I've been carrying the past three days is the BGM Knives Mini Spade. 
And this is a smaller version of John's spade model, which he created for EDC. So this is literally made to be like your one and only EDC knife, which I highly agree with. Um, little tiny model because I have small hands. I got a little lanyard on it because I slipped this in my pocket. So this is nice and easy to pull out. Um, I don't have a, I don't have a belt sheath for this. It's literally just like a Kydex sheath. I slip it right down in my pocket. But um, lots and lots of questions coming in about this, guys. And I'm, and I'm really sorry, but I can't tell you to like buy this if I don't know what your tasks are, if I don't know what your necessities are. Um, like so many people have been asking like, oh, should I get the spade? Should I get the spade? I don't, I don't know. You're gonna have to kind of do your own research. What I can say about this is I got mine hollow ground. This is in 80 CR steel. Um, so it's a tool steel that does have a patina because it's not stainless. See you later. Um, it's, it is very strong. So we have a reinforced tip. However, with how wide the blade is in this direction, it is also slicey. So you have a ton of capability with prying and drilling and, um, you know, scraping, and you get some good leverage with this if you are somebody that uses your knife as something other than a knife. Um, however, when you flip it, then you have a really good length of cutting and slicing capability. It is very tough, so you can cut through a whole bunch of stuff, but it's also long and hollow ground, so it's super slicey. I mean, this thing thins out so much behind the edge. Like, it is not as thick as it looks from here. You flip it, and it's, like, paper thin. So, seriously, some genius thoughts going into this design, because it, it's, in my opinion, like a hybrid knife. It is the best of both worlds. Um... This is literally like a mini A100 and a bug out had a baby in fixed blade form and it is just perfect um, for me, for my work and all of my basic tasks. So with that information, you can look into that on your own. I will say if you want it to be slicier, you can get it full flat ground. Um, but again, please check out John's site, BGM Knives. Uh, I can't tell you what to do with your money, but I, I can stand behind this for my use. Um, Surefire EDC flashlight that we're testing. Nothing bad to say about this at all. Very rugged. I've dropped it a few times. It has gotten wet in the snow. Um, battery life is doing great. Lumens on the high setting are sick. Like, very bright. Um, really enjoying the gas pedal switch on the back. Just, just fabulous so far. Um, what else do we have in the pockets? New wallet from Failsafe Goods. Needed something a little more neutral colored because my taste has changed and I really like the brown and the greens lately. So we have this, uh, I think it's like a Sidewinder or something wallet. Little bead for some contrast and some beauty. Um... I do have a pen in my pocket down in here. Big idea design pen. I do need to get something American made soon. But this one's really good so far. This one's titanium. And I have that because I've been carrying a notebook again. I've been needing to write a lot of stuff down for the channel, for the page. Um, just keeping track of everything. So we've got the notebook in play again. And um, let's see. Good old Hank. And then on my um, belt... See. You guys know I use the Tale of Knives sheath. So in that on my belt I have the Victorinox Spirit X multi-tool. This is absolutely incredible, guys. I can't recommend this enough. I really can't. Such nice quality. I I mean ergonomics are great. I'm really enjoying this multi-tool and I really like how these tools are all on the outside and the locking mechanism is really strong um it's just beautiful and then the last thing we have is a swiss army knife I'm always carrying one of those this model is uh, oh god I want to say it's the camper 
I'm not sure though. Whole bunch of cool tools on there. Got a little pin in the secret spot right in there. Use that all the time. Yeah, so lots of good stuff in the pockets lately. Um, God, it is fucking cold out. Holy shit. Like, I literally can't, like, my hands are so red I can't actually feel them. Um, okay, so one more thing I wanted to say is um, thank you for all of the support. I've mentioned a million times, like, I don't care if one person is watching or 2,000 are watching. It doesn't matter to me. I like doing the videos. However, um, I can say thank you. I, I do appreciate it. I really want you guys to go support other channels that are better than mine. So please go uh, watch Indie Hammer on YouTube. Please go watch powers carvings and crafts on youtube please go watch people that are way cooler than me because they deserve it and um i appreciate anything that i get on here but it's it's i really want you guys to go give some some love to people that are uh more deserving of it than i am also um on instagram if you guys are on there and you want to become part of the movement the use your shit movement if you are interested in that, we do have both a um, hashtag and a group chat going. Um, the movement is growing, the channel is growing, the page is growing, people wanting to use their tools and communicate with like-minded individuals. That whole thing is blowing up, which is really cool. Um, it's nice to have a place to talk to people that are not um, collectors, because like I'm not. No, no hating on that. It's just like, I'm not a collector. Uh, I'm a user. So um, really cool to have a place to talk to people like that. So we have a hashtag on Instagram. It's not your average EDC family. Um, if you follow that hashtag, it's a whole bunch of people using that, that use their tools. You will see pictures of actual used tools from all over the world. We just started that up. And um, we also have a group chat going as well. It's uh, not your average EDC family. If you would like to join, you're more than welcome. We're all on there uh, chatting away. And it's not just about knives all the time. Um, mental health, working out, staying motivated, moving your body, being a productive part of society. Um, it's all a huge discussion. Incredible people there. So if you want to join, you know, you can hit me up on Instagram or whatever. Uh, you can follow those hashtags as well. Uh, if you want to see cool used tools, um, you can also use the hashtag not your average EDC. Uh, that is one that I use for my pictures. So um, if you if you ever feel like you might miss one, you can use that hashtag or follow it. Um, yeah, wow, it is so cold that I can't even think straight anymore. I think that's it, guys. Yeah, um, thanks again for watching, and um, I will keep you guys updated on the. Deli Dell, but it is so cool, and I will be doing a sharpening video on this because so many people are interested in how the crew wear sharpens, so I will do a video on that. But um, have a great day, guys. If you are getting hit by the snow, stay safe, stay off the roads if you can, and use your motherfucking shit. Use your motherfucking shit. Use your shit. Use your shitty shit. Okay? I love you guys. See you later.